Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to get or how to apply tourist visa going to Japan. At anong-ano mga places na pwede ko i-recommend na you must see when you are in Japan. Tuturo ko rin sa inyo kung saan lugar pwede kayo bumili ng mga souvenir at pampasadubong sa murang halaga. So please stay tuned and check it out. But before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and red turns it into gray once you have subscribed. Let's proceed to the video. Halos karamihan ng mga Pilipino wants to visit Japan. Pero sad to say, hindi siya free visa for our country. We need to have a visa in order for us to enter Japan. So at first, ano-ano nga ba mga requirements sa pag apply ng tourist visa going to Japan? Number 1, Philippine Passport. Your passport should be valid for 6 months. Dapat may extra 2 pages para may space for the visa and the stamp. If your passport is new, then you have to sign the signature page. Broken passport is not accepted. Kaya always check your passport kung may damage o nabasa. Kasi di siya ina-accept pag may mga ganong bagay. Number 2. Visa Application Form Should be filled out all items correctly. Sa pag-fill out ng application form, dapat kompleto walang blanco. If the item is not applicable, then you just have to write NA which stands for not applicable. You can fill out this application form by a computer or handwritten. But make sure na readable yung pagkakasulat nito para di mahirapan yung console na magre-review ng papers mo. You can have this form sa entrance ng Japan Embassy, sa mga accredited travel agency, and you can also download this form sa website ng Japan Embassy. I'll be providing the link of all the forms na kakailanganin. Just check my description box below. Number 3. Birth Certificate from PSA Must be issued within 1 year. Pag lumampas na ng 1 year, then kailangan mo kumuha ng panibago. Sa mga late register, you need to provide additional documents like baptismal certificate and Form 137 from high school or elementary. If ever hindi kayo makapag-provide ng mga documents na to, you need to include a letter stating the reasons kung bakit di kayo makapag-produce ng mga additional documents na kagaya ng baptismal certificate and Form 137. At kung halimbawa wala kayong records sa PSA, you can submit a certificate of non-record from PSA together with a birth certificate from the local civil register o city hall na kung saang lugar ka pinanganap. Number 4. If you're married, then you need to provide a marriage certificate issued from the PSA. It should be issued within one year. Number 5. Daily schedule in Japan. Ito yung schedule or activity mo habang nasa Japan ka. From the date of arrival up to the date of departure in Japan. Nakalagay din dito kung saan ka titira. Kung sa hotel ka titira, then you have to write the name of the hotel, address, and the contact number. Number 6. Recent photo. Taken not more than 6 months. It should be 4.5 by 4.5 cm in size with white background. Punta lang kayo sa mga photo studio, sabihin nyo lang for Japan visa, then alam na nila yon. Guys, reminder lang kung magpapapicture kayo, you need to wear yung may mga collar o kwelyo. Or much better kung naka-formal attire kayo para disente tignan. May mga photo studio na pwede mag-edit ng inyong mga kasuotan. And also, you need to remove your accessory like earring, necklace, and kailangan nakalabas yung tainga as one of the photo requirements. Number 7, Bank Certificate. Valid within 3 months. Magkano nga ba ang dapat na laman ng bank mo para ma-approve yung visa application mo? 
For me, it really depends on how many days are you going to stay in Japan. As long as you can prove to them that you can support yourself during your stay in Japan. You can compute kung magkano yung cost of daily living mo sa Japan like food, transportation, and activity mo per day to make it realistic. Also includes the computation yung plane ticket, hotel, etc. Sabi ng iba, it is safe to say ng 5,000 to 10,000 pesos per person for each day. Yung kailangan for the daily living sa Japan. Pero depende pa rin sa Japan Embassy kasi wala naman talagang sinasabi kung magkano ba talaga required na pera sa banko. Number 8, latest ITR or Form 2316. Guys, di siya required na original kahit photocopy lang, okay na. Kung wala kang maiprovide ng bank certificate and ITR at may mag-sponsor o mag naman sa'yo from the Philippines, they need to provide these documents. Number one, bank certificate of the guarantor, valid within three months. Number two, latest ITR of the guarantor. Number three, proof of relationship of the guarantor. Like for example, if your mother is a guarantor, then you need to have her birth certificate and marriage certificate. Nakatibayan na yung nakalagay na information sa birth certificate mo ay tugma sa mga detalye niya. Number four, guarantee letter from the guarantor. You can download this form sa website ng Japan Embassy. Just check my description box below. Pag kumpleto na lahat ng documents, then you need to bring all the documents sa mga accredited agency ng Japan Embassy. You can search accredited agency ng Japan Embassy via internet. May processing fee which costs 2,000 pesos pero iba-iba yung price nila so pwede ka maghanap ng mura at pinakamalapit na accredited agency sa iyong lugar. Processing time nito takes about 3 to 5 working days. Pag na-receive mo na yung visa mo, then saka ka lang bibili ng plane ticket at magpapireserve sa hotel na tutuluyan mo sa Japan. Advice ko lang guys, you need to complete all the required documents in an honest manner to make your application be approved. Not a hundred percent, but in a good chance. So you have to work very hard to get all the required documents. Kasi once your application ay madinay, you need to wait for another six months for you to be able to apply again for a Japan visa. Guys, ito yung mga place na pwede ko i-recommend na you must see while you are in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo Skytree is said to be the tallest tower in the world na may taas na 2,080 feet at sinasabi na pumapangalawa sa pinakamataas na structure sa buong mundo na pinangungunahan ng the tallest building in the world which is Burj Khalifa ng Dubai na may taas na 2,722 feet. Pag umakit ka sa taas ng Skytree, matatanaw mo ang napakagandang tanawin sa buong Tokyo. Pero guys, medyo may kamahalan ng pagkakit dito. Ang bayad sa ticket ay 2,000 yen or 900 pesos sa atin. Pero di pa siya sa tuktok guys, nasa 350 meters above the ground pa lang siya. Pero if you decide na umakit pa sa pinakamataas na area, which is 450 meters above the ground, may additional na 1,000 yen or 450 pesos sa atin. Ganun siya kamahal guys. Shibuya Crossing Aside from the Tokyo Skytree, ito yung masasabi ko na very popular sa mga foreigner na sinasabi na iconic landmark of the city that represents modern Japan. Maraming beses nang lumabas itong lugar na to sa mga international movies kaya ng Lost in Translation and the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Dream. Alam nyo ba na ang bilang ng mga taong tumatawi dito during peak hours ay umaabot ng 3,000 people at a time? Kaya ito ay sinasabing the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world. Kaya ako mismo sumubok sa pagtawi dito na talagang nakakamangha na di mo maisip na bawat stoplight ay ganun pa rin karami yung mga taong tumatawid na parang di talaga nauubos. Mapapaisip ka na lang kung saan nang gagaling yung mga taong tumatawid dito. Sobrang nakakamaze.
Guys, dito rin matatagpuan sa mismong lugar na to ang Hachiko Statue in Shibuya na talagang very popular sa mga foreigners. Para sa kaalaman ng lahat, ito yung istorya ni Hachiko. Isa siyang loyal na aso na hinahatid yung master niya sa Shibuya Station pag pumapasok sa trabaho. At sa pagsapit ng alas 3 ng hapon, pinupuntahan niya yung master niya sa station para sunduin. Sa kasamaang palad, isang araw namatay yung master niya sa trabaho na di na nakauwi para magpaalam kay Hachiko. But Hachiko continued to visit the station every day para abangan yung master niya hanggang sa siya ay namatay nearly 10 years later. Kaya sobrang popular nito sa mga foreigners dahil sa sobrang ganda ng kanilang istorya. Maraming artista natin sa Pilipinas na talaga nagpapakuha ng picture sa stadium ni Hachiko. Ganun siya kasikat guys. Bueno, Ameya Yoko. Ito yung tinaguri ang Divisoria ng Tokyo. Kung souvenir ang hanap nyo o pampasalubong, dito dapat kayo pumunta kasi halos lahat nandito na. Di siya ganun kamura pero kumpara sa price ng mall, malaki matitipid nyo dito. May mga food stall at mga seafood market din dito na talagang sulit na sulit ang presyo. So ayan guys, hanggang dito na lang muna. Stay tuned for my next video kasi I'll be featuring more places that you must see while you are in Japan. If you learned something new, please hit the like button and please don't forget to share this video. Thank you for watching.